Hi students, today we're gonna to talk about the features in the Mac and Via platform. To do this, I'm gonna click on my backpack and open up one of my checkouts. The book I chose to open is called The Ambrose Deception by Emily Ecton. Now to open it, I simply click over here and it will open and I can scroll through the pages. It sort of mimics the flipping of the pages the same way you would see um, in a paper book. But this is an ebook and it has more features than a paper book. So I'm gonna highlight some of those features for you today. The first one I'd like to highlight is this text audio feature. Not every book has it. And unfortunately I cannot record the sound, but when I press the play button, you will see that the words will be highlighted um, as they are being read and you can change the voice based on your preferences. Now they are computerized voices, but you do have some options. And as you can see, there are some different options of different readers. To stop the reading, you press the circle with the line through it. This, this book in the middle is to toggle between the two page spread you see now and one page at a time based on your preferences at a reader. The capital A and the lowercase a will give you some text features. So I'm gonna click on the A and you'll notice that I can change the background of the book from white to sepia to black based on my reading preferences. I can change the brightness of the screen, lowering it and raising it again, based on my reading preferences. I can make the text smaller or larger and I can find a font that may be more comfortable for me to read with. Some other features I'd like to show you about in Mac and Via are the dictionary feature. In case you don't know the meaning of a word, you can click and highlight the word, click on the dictionary. That will bring up the definition of the word to help you out. You could also click and highlight some text that you think is important that you want to remember. And then you click on the notes tab and you type something you might want to help that will help you remember it. So this is important for my project. If you want to change the color of the highlighting, you can change that to blue, click save. When I close it, you'll see that the highlighting here is blue. You can do this throughout the book as you click through the book. I think this might be important, so let's highlight. Add a note. Click save. Now I can access the notes here by going to my notebook. You'll see all of your highlights, highlights and notes in one place. 